All right, welcome back. We got a quick n couple news stories uh, from last week that are relevant to what we do here. So last week we did have some glitches in the New York Stock Exchange. Um, this caused some stocks like Berkshire Hathaway, Chipotle, some big name companies to show briefly that they went down 99.99%. So that's a big deal, especially for a stock like Berkshire Hathaway. It was quoting it at uh, I think 100 bucks. It doesn't show that anymore on the chart. Uh, but Berkshire A class is a $600,000 stock. So I was trying to hit the bid at $124 because it was down 99.99%. Uh, Chipotle was another one that showed, um, was quoted for I think a thousand bucks. And there's a few other ones that I don't, companies I don't recognize, but there was a glitch in the system. Uh, you weren't able to get filled at those prices, but uh, it was just the quote being shown was incorrect. Um, so interesting, we've seen stuff like this before, and um, there are two big stock, stock exchanges out there, the NYSE and the NASDAQ, and also this week we've got some big news here from BlackRock and Citadel. They are looking to start their own stock exchange based out of Texas called the TXSE. Now, to me, this is very interesting and very exciting because the NYSE and the NASDAQ, um, they work fine, but there's not a lot of innovation. There's a lot of stagnation there. And we've, we've evolved as a uh, society. We have high speed internet. We've got NVIDIA chips. We've got AI. We've got blockchain. There's a lot of new technology that we can be using in the financial industry, but we haven't updated our systems or made any big changes to our financial industry. And um, what these guys are doing is instead of changing the legacy system, they're starting their own. So people have tried to start their own exchanges in the past and they haven't really gained a lot of traction. These are the guys that are going to bring the traction to them. BlackRock and Citadel. BlackRock, the largest asset manager in the world and Citadel, the largest um, market maker in the world. So this is a huge, huge deal. And I think this is going to be very beneficial for the consumer. Um, I have on here my wish list of what I hope will come out of this. Um, co competition is always good and if they produce a better product more consumers will go their way. So hopefully what they do is produce a better product that um, brings less fees to us. Now we've already seen um, companies like Robinhood compress the fees in the financial industry when it comes to purchasing stocks. Hopefully we can see that in other avenues as well. Um, all it takes is one company to come around and have a better service and charge less for it. And then you undercut all the other companies and then they're going to have to bring their fees down or bring their product up to justify their uh, miss um, the gap in pricing. So I also am hoping that we see tokenization of assets. This is something that Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock, is continually talking about. Um, he's turned bullish on Bitcoin and blockchain and how they can use it for financial assets. Um, so I think that's going to be very interesting. I think this could also lead to 24 hour trading of assets because it's going to be done on the blockchain versus you need some guy to put the order through. Um, so that that's going to be interesting as well. And I think there will be greater access for many assets to all investors. So Instead of, um, hopefully it'll be easier for someone to buy some shares in SpaceX or to buy corporate bonds or municipal bonds. It won't be so complicated. Um, these are the types of things I'm looking for to come out of this. And, um, you know, I, I've been calling for this for a long time, but the ability to send stocks like Venmo. So um, if someone just got married, instead of giving them a toaster, why can't I give them a share of the S&P 500 and send it to them um, via Venmo or some sort of digital wallet. I can give them a gift that is going to grow uh, for the length of their marriage versus a, a toaster. Uh, same thing for birthdays and things like that. So um, because this, the current system doesn't allow that, hopefully a new system, a new exchange will allow for certain things like that to happen. Now this is not going to happen overnight, but I do think uh, this is where the puck is moving is uh, more flexibility. Um, when it comes to the movement of assets. So 
that is all I got for you guys. I'll be tracking this story, but to me, it's very exciting because um, these, are, these are the big dogs in the uh, industry, and they're teaming up, and they're taking on the, um, the legacy uh, system. So we'll see what they do with it. Uh, they're definitely doing it to, to make money, but I think they're also doing it to um, kind of uproot the system. So I'll keep you posted on what that looks like, but that is a couple news stories from this week. All right, guys. Have a good day. Peace out.